Hi everybody. So today I wanted to talk about internet failover or as it's sometimes called internet backup or even dual WAN. So this means that all your devices on your home network will continue to have access to the internet even when your main broadband service goes down. I've been doing this for a few years and I just wanted to share with you how I do it on my Asus router and what backup device I use, how to set it up and then do some automatic failover and failback tests. So let's jump in. I use this Huawei USB LTE 4G dongle. I've been using it for a couple of years now and it's really worked well for me. Uh, it's kept the house connected uh, when my broadband's gone down, which has been you know, a couple of times now, I guess. I got this on Amazon and I'll leave a link in the description for anyone that wants to take a look for themselves. Um, it's quite a small little device and sliding back this cover gives me access to insert a mobile SIM card. So first just pop out the size of SIM that you need and then slide it in and then put the cover back on. I also got a couple of these small antennas that clip on the side here if you need to. Uh, my mobile coverage where I live isn't that great and these really help. Um, I've got an Asus uh, RT-AX88U and I just pull down uh, this little access cover on the front of the router for a USB uh, access port and slot the dongle into place. That's the hardware installation all done and now you just need to head over to the Asus router web interface to configure a few simple settings. So I'll jump on the computer and get started with the configuration and then we'll do some failover and failback tests. So first of all, just log in uh, to my router. So I'll just go ahead and do that. Once you've logged in, you want to hit on the left hand side, uh, USB application. Once you're in there, select the 3G, 4G. Once you're in there, you want to enable the USB mode. I've already done mine, so you can see there that's enabled. And then all you need to do is fill in a few settings, which you can get depending on the mobile network operator you're using. I'm in the UK. I'm using the EE network. So a quick Google will tell you what the APN name should be, uh, the username and password. You then need to select the adapter that you've, uh, you've got. Mine's Huawei, as I've said there. Once you've done that, just click on apply. And then once you've done that, you want to head over to the dual WAN tab, as you can see at the top here. Once you're on the dual WAN tab, make sure that you enable dual WAN, as I've done here. And then you just select between your primary and secondary WAN. So primary WAN is your WAN, uh, in this case, your broadband uh, provider, the main service provider that you use for internet. And then the secondary WAN is the USB dongle that we're setting up now. You then have to, you then have to select the uh, mode. Uh, you've got two options on this Asus router. You've got failover and load balance. We're doing failover. Uh, and then here there's an option to fail back. So obviously I think you should select that. So when the uh, router detects that your primary WAN is down, it will fail over to the secondary WAN. And then once it detects that the main uh, WAN is back, then it will fail back to the primary WAN. I think that's a great feature. Then there's a couple of things you need to set up here. So here's the detection interval. So I've said every five seconds, I'm going to look at when the WAN fails after 12 um, continuous checks. So in my case, uh, what, if that happens continuously for 60 seconds, it will then uh, trigger a failover from primary WAN to secondary WAN. And then you can also set up conditions to fail back. Uh, so mine is that when the primary WAN uh, is detective, detected and there's an internet connection and it's done it for four continuous times, it will fail back to the primary WAN. Now, the way that mine does the detecting, uh, I'm using a ping option and I'm just going to ping google.com. So every five seconds, I'm going to send a ping out to Google. And if I get a reply, then the router knows that the primary WAN is up and running. All you need, all you need to do then is hit apply. Mm -hmm. And if you head back to the homepage of your Asus router, you'll now see that there are two WAN tabs. So on the left here, you can see my primary WAN is showing as connected. There's a thick uh, line here to show that this has got a connection. 
On the right hand side is my secondary WAN, my USB dongle, and that's in a state of cold standby. So that is ready to fail over when needed. And you can see there's a dotted line at the bottom indicating that uh, it's not connected currently, but it is ready to do so. Okay, so let's do some testing. So first of all, I'll do a failover test. And then after that, we'll do a fail back test. So to simulate a failure of my main internet service provider, I'll just switch off uh, the modem at the wall. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, with that switched off, the failover tests should take about a minute. So straight away, you can see um, that the network cable has been detected as unplugged. And now we just got to wait uh, for the uh, failover USB uh, LTE dongle to take over. So that was just take a few seconds. So here you go. A minute later, you can see that the secondary WAN uh, shows as connected, as you can see here, uh, which means now all devices uh, on my home network still have access to the internet. So that's now uh, simulate a uh, fail back. Okay, so I've switched the modem back on at the wall. So now the process of detecting that the primary WAN is back online uh, will start. And then after four consecutive tests, we will switch back uh, to the primary WAN. Okay, that's it. All done. We're now back on the primary WAN, so we failed back. So this is fantastic. I think there's quite a few advantages to having this system. So ob the obvious advantage is if your main internet service provider goes down, then everybody in the house still has internet access. Um, but also, if you run security devices or anything that sends you notifications when you're out of the home, for example, if your primary WAN went down and you didn't have a backup WAN, you wouldn't know about it and you wouldn't get any security alerts, uh, alerts or notifications. But if you've actually got um, a, a failover or backup internet, then you will continue to get those notifications. So I think it's a, it's a very useful. I think everyone should have it. I certainly enjoy uh, having it. It's helped me out a few times now when my uh, primary WAN has gone down. That's all for today. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please consider subscribing and uh, maybe even hitting that notification bell so we see each other in the next video. Take care, everybody.